Welcome in the house of God. Be firm and strong. May the Lord bless you. We are continuing our teachings in Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 22. And the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you little by little. You will be unable to destroy them at once, lest the beasts of the fields become too numerous for you. Let's read in Exodus 23, 29-30. I'll not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. Little by little, I'll drive them out from before you until you have increased and you have inher you, you inherit the land tugiziminsi tuganira kuri iri jambo ry'umubano hagati y'ikibinikiza it's been a few days as we've been discussing this theme with the word the cohabitation of the good and the evil imana yabwiye abisiraeli god spoke to the israelites ngo nimugera mu gihugu when you get to the land or promised land send out the foreign nations in there Hanyuma, then then you rule over the nation that's what God told them that it, they shall inherit it and it shall be theirs that's what the promises God gave to Moses that he needs to take the Israelites from the hands of Pharaoh and take them to the promised land. When you see the promises God gave to Abraham, he gave him a nation. He gave him land. Canaan was the land that God gave Abraham an inheritance. But that's not what happened. His children or his grandchildren did not immediately live in that land. The Bible says that God gave Abraham's children. Isaac was to stay on the Mount of Seir, but Jacob was to go to the Mount to the Egypt. That's where they were to go. Seir is in Edom. 
Shaki ugimana ya buye bura hamungu Ndaki guhaye Abuzu kurube wakaki baemo Ya wanje kubohereza Muri ekiputa the nation that God promised to give Abraham's children, he first sent the children to Egypt. They went to Egypt, there were about 70 to 75 people. This land was very big, or this nation was very big. They could not have filled it in one day or in a short time. Imani bajana mugiputa baroroka baragwiri. So God took them to Egypt. They became numerous and multiplied. Abisreiri baba ye mugiugu kitari chavo imyaka nako. The Israelites lived in another land. Yes, it might have been their land at that time, but they had a promised land they were meant to move to, and they lived in that land of Egypt for 400 years until he moved them to the promised land. They were not enslaved for all the 400 years. They were not put under captivity or in slavery for all the 400 years. Only when a pharaoh that never knew them came in after the other pharaohs is when they started to be oppressed. So you look in the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 7. Amos, chapter 9, verse 7. Amos, chapter 9, verse 7. Are you not like the people of Ethiopia to me, O children of Israel, says the Lord? Did I not bring up Israel from the land of Egypt, the Philistines from Kaptua? And the Syrians from Kar. God, God kept shifting people from one place to another. The Israelites were from Egypt. The Philistines from Kaptur. And the Syrians from Kar. They all became neighbors to the Israelites. And all the years Israel lived, they're always at war with the Philistines and the Syrians. They are always at war. They fight with the Syrians. And they fight with the Philistines. The, the Israelites. There is a reason why. God removed the Israelites from Egypt and promised them a great and big nation. The Israelite you see today is not the same that God spoke to Abraham at that time. They were, their borders would have come from Ephrat to Lebanon, which is what is present-day Iraq. 
Israeli rero cyangwa se Kanani cyo gihe yitwaga Kanani icyo gihugu cy'abanyakanani igihugu cy'amasezerano Kanani cyari kinini cyane So that promised land of Canaan was a big land or nation Dero abantu bake ni bagomba gukiba mu bonyine So few people were not meant to dwell there by themselves They went to Egypt when they were 70 They left Egypt when they were about 2 to 3 million people But even then the nation was still too large for them Let's say for example the nation of Gabon. Gabon It is a big country. Gabon It is a big nation. It's bigger than Rwanda. It's very big. But its citizens are only one million people. It's like the number of citizens of Rwanda in Kigali. It's a very big country. With a lot of forests. But few citizens. So that time Israel or Canaan was a big nation. So three million people. Was like a drop in the ocean. They couldn't fit in that entire land. So God tells them. There is a reason why he didn't send out all the Canaanites. We talked about those reasons. Among the reasons we have dwelt a lot in this time is the reason to teach them about battle. God kept those nations so that they can teach Israel how to fight. Israel yaje kubatera itari kumwe n'Imana igatsindwa bigatuma ishakisha Imana kugira ngo Imana ibahe ubutsinzi rero ayo mahanga ngo yari ihwa mu rubavu yatumaga Israel ishakisha Imana buri mwanya Any time Israel went afar from God those nations would attack them and if Israel attacked the nations back without consulting God they would be defeated it required that they would go back to God so these foreign nations were always a thorn in their in their side even in the time of the kings they kept fighting at battle the king of Syria attacked them God brought the Syrians from Kar and brought them to always fight the Israelites. And the Philistines came and stayed by their side. And then is and God gave Israel the nation. But with neighbors that kept provoking them so they can always have a revival in them. Inambara umwanya umwe iterwa na Satani ariko undi mwanya izanwa n'Imana kugira ngo idushiture kwizera kwacu kongere gusuguhagarara Our lives are made out of battles one time it might be from Satan but other battles are acceptable from God so that he provokes us to come back to him Biragoye gukunda Imana gusenga Imana gushaka Imana kwiriza It is difficult to seek God, to fast and pray to God every time things are going well for you. Some are able to do that, but many cannot do it. Many of us are in great revival only when we encounter problems. When you have a great search for something, you are seeking God even more. It is normally hard to search for God consistently when you need nothing from Him. But it should, however, be the lifestyle, the life of seeking God continually. Adam Nubuzima nabo barimo 
ntacho bakenye bafite byose cyagiti cyari kigeragezo kugira ngo imana irebe ko bakomeza kwishaka the tree that was placed before Adam and Eve they were living a good life and desired nothing but that tree was to be able to test them icyagiti ntacho cyari kibati cyavugaga ndi cyasekaga cyari kihagarariye gikera imuto gusa zinetse nziza tu Adam akazi cyo uri munsi umugore akazi cyo uri munsi yarangira tari ko yamana yavuze ako kanu karamuzengereza igihe kireke tugire ngo bayiriye mu gitondo kibafashe igihe This tree was just silent it was beautiful in the garden said nothing to both Adam and Eve but had very tempting fruits so we believe that it was not one day when they fell every day they were being tested wanting to go and partake of it Adam and Eve bagize igihe cy'ububyutse bagira ni igihe cy'ubunebwe We find that Adam and Eve must have gone through a time of laziness and a time of revival hariki umuntu wa mubuzutse isuka yangiza ukabzanga maduku kayanga ibintu byose ukabzanga ukaba mu nzu yima bwaci kindi gihe ukagenda buhoro buhoro ugabanyaga furungu rukawo maduka ugira gututuntu tukamere tukagaruka buhoro buhoro ibyo biha abantu babicamo byo kuzamuka no kumanuka rero cyagiye twamanutse aba hari igiti ruhande rwacu iya tari igiti no mufilisti iya tari umufilisti ya no musiri bongera kudukubita katujomba eh tukibuka ko twaregeje ibintu uko nubuzima tubaye there is a time we are in great revival and we are very holy and do not want to touch anything in the world or partake of it but another time comes when you feel low and you want to be tempted to go there in that moment it's because there is a philistine by our side the tempted the tempting tree or the syrian that will come like a thorn and bring you back to god ubundi abisraeli barwanye intambara hari intambara ubundi zubwo ko butatu there is normally three kinds of battle hari intambara y'imana n'umuntu there is the battle between god and man iyo niyo yakobo yarwanye imana ravuga ngo warwanye n'imana That is, that is the battle that Jacob fought when he fought God and he said you wrestled God. The second battle is the battle between man and man. That is the battle Esau was fighting with Jacob. The second battle is the battle between man and the beast. That is what the kind of battle David fought and Paul fought in Ephesus. Iyo tuvuka inyamaswa rero turavuka inyamaswa nkazi ariko kandi tukabona umwuka wa Satani inyuma ya When we talk about beasts we are talking about fierce beasts but behind it is the spirit of Satan. Nero imana yabwiye abisirayeli kurwana n'abafilisitiya ariko aha tubona none imana irabwira abisirayeli ko bataritegura batari ready yo kurwana n'inyamaswa. We see that here God is talking about Israelites fighting with the Philistines but God is telling the Israelites they are not yet ready to fight them. Yes they can fight the Philistines. They can fight the Canaanites. But they were not ready to fight the beasts. Eh hari intambara za madayimoni za za satani zihanitse mu rwego rwo hejuru imana itarakwemerera kurwana nazo izo ntambara ziraza kagukubita zikagusenya cyangwa se eh zikakubuza amahoro bigatuma wava mu gakiza hari abantu benshi imana itemerera kubarwana izo ntambara hari abantu ugira ngo nibo bazi bazirose There is there is battles where you have to fight with the, sp the spirits of the evil one that are so great that God will not easily allow everybody to fight such a battle but there is others the Lord has given the power to fight them the Bible told us in Exodus chapter 23 29 ngo sinzabirukana imbere yawe mu mwaka umwe kugira ngo igihugu kidahindu kumwirare inyamaswa zo mu ishamba zikagwira zikagutera I will not drive them out from before you in one year lest the beast become lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the field become too numerous for you Strategy y'Imana iratangaje The strategy of God is amazing. How he works is amazing. God told the Israelites. 
Another reason why you need not to inherit the land within one year is because of beasts. Harahanuri, harahanugeze, daimon in this kanga chan. Kubi yo month, harubi mani ha kuri in dinagato gubanze ukure. There is a place you are at where you are not able to fight the demons. So God will let you to wait until you are ready and be, have become mature. Hmm. The spirit of drunkenness of Gatenga has overcome you. And now that means the one of Kichuchiro would probably kill you. So the Lord understands you can only handle so much. I'll not let you fight the Canaanites and send them out immediately because when they leave, the beast will come in that place. Fierce beasts. What will bring them? These beasts come because of two things. One or the other. Because you have killed so many people, they will come to eat their bodies. When they come to eat their dead bodies, they will dwell there. The second reason there are beasts when you send away people they come and occupy the place because they desire to live somewhere. So Israel you're not ready to fight the beasts. You are still young you can fight people yes but not beasts. You can fight with people, but you cannot fight with the spirits working in the air, in the in the mortuaries or on the land. The people that were able to fight beasts and overcome them are those with the kind of maturity that David had spiritually. Because if you have been able to fight and, and defeat a beast, then a person is small before you. So if you, David was able to, defy, to fight beasts, then Goliath was a small thing before him. The king Saul asked David, where, tell me where you have fought in battle Give me your CV for your military CV. He said, I... I have fought a bear and I have fought a lion. That Philistine is nothing to me. Paul wrote and said, I have fought beasts in Ephesus three times. Those who are able to fight animals or beasts are those who have spiritual maturity. There is people in the spirit. When they arrive somewhere, the spirits will flee. The, the spirits will not linger there because they are scared of those people. They will flee and only come when the people leave. It's like a dog when he will see another animal like a lion, it will shake its tail and walk and come down. Yes. Mm. 
ya bafugishaga yose igatuza donc iyo autorité ni imana yatanze mu bantu bameze nka ba Daudi nka ba Paul there is people that the spirits respect and they even acknowledge them we see that the sons of Sceva, when they were sending out demons, the demons said, we know Paul, we know Jesus, but who are you? So the spirits recognize certain people because of spiritual maturity. So that authority requires that a person will have been taught, will have understood God and understands the root of problems. Kuko hari imyukizanwa no kurya intumbi hari n'imyuka n'indi n'indi myukiza kwicara muri territoire kaho izi nyamaswa zombi rero iza kurya intumbi niza gufata ubutaka imana yabahaye Israeli nabwo yari yiteguye muri cyo giye kuko bari bagikorera utundi tukirwa mana baje mu tukirwa mana bagatsindwa imbere y'abadayimoni kuko bakora satani imana avuga ngumva rero ko tuzabigenza namwe zagenda ndwana namwe ruto ni ruto gahoro gahoro sishobora kwirukana abanzi umunsi umwe inyamaswa nizibinjirana muzaburiyo muke there is those spirits that come to eat the dead bodies and others that come to dwell in a person and those kind of spirits the israelites were not mature enough to fight them because they were still dwelling in idolatry but we find that god said you will not be able to fight them completely at once but little by little insomye mu maganya yeremia igiye ngo umukobwa wi sion yajangwe mu mahanga ision hari ubwiza ngo haje kuturwa mu ninyamaswa gaze ngo ndetse nibisiga byo mu kirere ahantu wavuye ubwiza bw'Imana za nyamaswa ziraza we find that when we read in Lamentations, when the daughter of Zion was taken out of their land, we find that the animals came and the eagles and the vultures came and dwelt in that desolate land. Yes, now we are Even Jesus said it. When you send out one demon from a person, <laughs> And that house is well swept and nobody, nothing occupies it. Seven more spirits will come that are greater than the first and they take over. When God gives you a place to inherit and you don't take it over, we find that beasts will come and take it over. That is why reproducing and multiplication is important for you to take over. Imana yaga bisiraeli ikanani bitewe nuko babzayi. God would give Israelites to inherit Canaan depending on how they have reproduced. Mm. As, the, as the Israelites multiplied that is how, and they became numerous. That is how God kept pushing out the Philistines. In the spiritual, reproduction and multiplication is key. God, God spoke to Onan. Because you did not accept to reproduce with Tamar, I will curse you and you will die. Kuko ndiyeme yekuzara na nuyu mumamu. She did, he did not accept to have a baby with her. He did the wrong thing. God was saddened by it and he died because he did it. The the first law that God gave man was to reproduce and multiply. It was a very important law, the first of its kind that God gave man. 
Wagendeye muri iryo tegeko genda uzare wororoke wuzu zisi kugira ngo inyamaswa zituzura mu isi The blessing of God went with that law go reproduce and multiply the blessing of God was with it for you to inherit the land Bibiliya irevuga ngo ishamye iritera imbuto Bazarigira gute Bazaritema rijehe mu muriro Ramba bazimana igirira umuntu utabyara ingumba mu muka ntizibaho mu mubiri birumvika nariko mu muka tangumba yakagombye kuba nibura hari ikintu ugomba gukora mu mana chipsara chiyonge the bible says any tree or any branch that does not bear fruit should be cut and thrown into the fire meaning it is a curse if we are spiritually not reproductive yes in the physical you might be barren but it is a curse not to be reproductive in the spirit isezerano rikomeye imana yakoranye na abrahamu sisezerano ryo kumugihugu ni sezerano ryo kuzara abana bazaba mu gihugu the greatest covenant that abraham had with god was not to inherit the land no it was to have children that would inherit the land igihugu yari gift yari kado yo ku yo gushira kwa commodating umugisha wima donc ku kwicaza umugisha wima umugisha nukubzara igihugu naho umugisha uzaba so the nation was a gift to abraham if he was to multiply and reproduce it comes as a blessing for you to occupy because you reproduce bibiliya iravuga ngo umwamugira icyubahiro kuruta abandi ngo nugira abantu benshi The Bible says that the king who is more honorable than others is the one who has more people than the others. Igihe cyose ufite abantu benshi, igihe cyose ufite uruzaro rwinshi, igihe cyose ufite abana benshi, bizange bikunde urubahwa. Any time you have more people, any time you have a bigger family, more children, you are honored by all means. Ni kibazo. The problem. Kutabzara rero. Not to reproduce. Mu mwuka ngugire icyuzana. In the, it is a problem if you don't reproduce in the spirit. Kubera ubukewa ubuke bwa Israel, Imana yanze kuba igihugu uwo munsi. Because of how few the Israelites were, God could not enable them to inherit the land immediately. Ariko muri uwo mwaka ni barongora abakobwa bakabarongora abahungu bakarongora. Dore ki ni Imana yari yarababwiye ngo muri ico gihugu ngo ntangumbi zakibamo. Iki Imana yashakaga niki bamzare babebeje. If in that year they were to multiply by getting married the young men and women getting married they would take over the land he had said go and reproduce and multiply and fill the land In Exodus 23 
a home full of young men or old men that are not married or women that are not married, they have a problem. There is blessings you will not attain because there's blessings you attain from the fact that you've become numerous and certain spirits can come to you. Because of the compassion of God. Because of the mercy of God, he will not allow you to move and step into your blessing because it will bring you problems that you are not ready for. So we find, how, we find and see how God is keeping away his mercy. How God will keep away from giving you, but out of mercy. Today, Today, God will not allow you to get a million dollars because it will just kill you until you have multiplied, until you have people to serve, banks to give to, until you have become. You have, until you have multiplied and have people to share it with, we will give it to you. It is easier for God to manage you with 10,000. It will be harder for Him to manage you with a mil, billion rands. Because the mercy of God. He understands the power behind a billion randis francs because of the evil spirits and the demons that will come to fight you. When it comes, you will be overcome.
One morning, just a buys an aeroplane and he buys different uh, they are all from Busogo. They can't even print their CVs. If these young men don't kill him, maybe they serve him. This is how God works in his wisdom. He has prepared that for him. But he will prepare, will get him there little by little. Little by little, he will he will walk with him to his journey without giving him those great things he promised him, so that at least his colleagues, by the time he's owning estates, they are able to even own a car, so that their jealous is suppressed against him. and balance it and see how many animals are approaching you and if you're able to handle that situation and only then he will, he will he move you step by step to what he promised. Be different. Some are herbivorous and they eat grass and the others are carnivorous and they are very fierce. So it depends which beasts come to you. Many of us would have progressed a long time but God is still managing our neighbors so that they will not be too jealous when we do. The most difficult thing that God has to manage is the heart of man. Man, 
kuva mu pfumu wemfashe yuka ukagenda unyonga igari na gapikipiki mu mu ukagira ngo yigitanga zari ko imana ari kubikiye ibibenze hariya nibiremurike nibiki byose imana mwijurika kureba ikababara uko wananiwe kwihangana uko yo yari bigukorera uhoro buhoro ichi imana idufasha muri byabiye byo kwihangana idutuntu duto duto tutukarwa muri buka tukira abanyeshuri kera tuva ku ishuri basanga batarateka baragukarimaga bakaguha ibindazi kugira ngo utegereze ibiryo kuko ushonje cyane kwinjira mu ndugo ndashonje uko bitamakaye hariya bakaba baguhaya akantu gatuka gukalma wala imana iradukalma harababwira imana ngo turarambiwe namakalma ya buri munsi mpa cyangwa ubivemo abo batura bafite nabo muri isi we find that god is preparing for you a nice house and a nice car ahead but you have to get there little by little but because you're impatient you go to the sorcerer to ask for a bicycle and a very ramshackled house the reason is you are being impatient what the lord does normally in the journey he manages our emotions just like how it is you would come from school you're hungry and you need to eat and they give you a donut to keep you going that's what the lord does he gives you small things until you reach to the great thing He took Abraham almost another 25 years in the promised land of Canaan before yeah, he yeah, had been From his land he had been barren. When he reached the promised land, the years had grown. Why? Why didn't Abraham have Isaac immediately arrived in the promised land of Canaan? Why did he wait for 25 years? Abraham
ya wikidu wa mapedeje watu wa meme ushobora nawe wenyine kwihimbira akazo ka umupede yari kuzakenera nanone imani kuzanira abantu batazakwiba batazagushuka guko utazi imibari guko utazi iki imani kuzanira abantu bafite ubwenge nkuko wakagize akaba ariyo bakubira uhanda hari urwego imani tazakwinjizamo itarabona abantu correct bazabana There is a certain level the Lord will never get you to until you're ready for that place until you've attained the knowledge for that place You can't be a CEO until you've gone through the studies of management so you will be able to manage your company. Yes, you might manage your own business, but even then the Lord will need to bring you people that are knowledgeable to sustain you there. There is another level you'll never get to until you know when to speak. The power Samson of Samson was from him not speaking. God could tolerate that he stays in the house of a harlot, but he couldn't tolerate when he spoke. Do you hear me? Well? God had never asked him why did you sleep in the house of Delilah but he was saddened when he spoke about the secret of his power There is a level that certain people will never reach because of them speaking anyhow You need to know what to say who you speak to and when to be silent Do you hear me ibyo byose imana ibanza kugucisha mu mateste ya karibi akarimi birongo ibanze igatuning igigisha kuko biriye ba ngo rurimi ngo ninkwi ninkigishirira gitwikishamba ryose God will first of all test your tongue because he needs to manage your tongue because the bible says that your tongue is like a small flame that sets the whole forest on fire abantu bose imana yakoranye nabo ikintu cyambere gikomeye bagiraga nibanga iyo umuntu atagira ibanga imana ndi mwizerere ibintu bikomeye the all the people that god worked with the first thing he looked for was the ability to keep a secret god will not work with people that don't keep secrets hari byo kuvuga there are things to speak about hari byo kutavuga and there's others you shouldn't hari abandi imana ibanza kudiringa na maso yabo kugira ngo ibageze mu rundi rwe There's others that the Lord will first deal with their eyes before they get to a certain level. Ijisho rya mbere rirasanzwe ariko riba rya kabiri riba ritangiye kubika ibazo. The first eye is okay but if it becomes the second it starts to become a problem. Iyo mbonye Josephine atambuka good is good ariko iyo ntangiye gutya kugira hirya kabiri rya gatatu mba ngiye gukomunika nibindi nibindi birere ico gutunye amaso twa tutangiye kwinjira hari urwego imana itakugeza kuko amaso yawe atareba hakwiri If I see Josephine pass by it's okay but if I look at her once or twice and start judging her then that is a problem then you are being attacked by the spirits from the beasts Ijisho rikorana na kanwa The eye works with the mouth Iyo nde kurebye kabiri gatatu mwamubonye Mwamubonye When you gaze at someone once or twice you start to gossip about them did you see her harabandi imana itazamura kuko batazi guhisha no kubika to retain retaining urufaranga rwose rwinjiya akumva rwasoka ariko utaramenya kwicwa ninzara ngwi kurye ufite ifaranga ari gutambuke mu ndariri imbere imana yikwizerera kuri byo imbaraga zikomeye no kuretena amafara There is others that the Lord will not get to a certain level because they don't have self control and the ability to retain themselves or hold themselves back. You want to spend, you want to do something out of impulse. The Lord will not easily use you. Ureho udafite amafaranga mu mufuka uratuje ariko yaje umuti muhita ukubita. You have no money in your pocket and you are okay. The moment you have it then you are out of yourself and you want to spend Imani zagucisha hano igutegure kugezigiye amafaranga arimo ni okay atarimo ni okay no geraho hano izaguha nimirya God is going to test you and take you to a place where you reach and you are okay with or without money then if you're in that state or at that stage he can give you as much as a million francs Harumuntu uzuhabwa amafaranga mu gitondo akazagarukiwe ejo mu kindi gitondo 
ariko atayafite akirirwa mu nzu bukira There is a person when they have Sasa kutayagira no kuyagira niki kiza kuri we Imana rero mbabwire hari igu mu Filisti yabamwiza kuruta inyamaso There is a person when they have money they will not come back home that day they will come the next morning when they have no money they will stay home and they will be calm so what is better it's better for them not to have the money meaning it's easier to fight the philistine than the beast haracyari ibintu byinshi imana irimo yigisha ubuzima bwacu kugira ngo ituhe amasezerano yuzuye iduhe igihugu kikanane mu buryo bwuzuye ariko tutara tutarigishwa itararangiza procedure na processes na proje na pro programme na profitable na pro promouvoir na ibyo sos imana harutu harutu programme kifitanye nawo nditurarangira we uri mura ititiriza yikagura ngo tugende ni ruto ni ruto ti mwana wanje hari inyamaswa zirakumara ni njye ukurebera kuri takari motwari imbaga kera ngo araje kugira gute gushira hwinzira areba kura ndabasha kurora zaho ramwiringi iyireba kuri kandi urayibwira bati wewe fundebere na habo yende kangende imana iturinda byinshi kugwa imbabazi zayo ariko twe tukabyumva ko yabitwimye God always keeps us from a lot of bad things because of his mercy. Many times we want to reach to a place as fast as we can, but he knows we only need to go there little by little. Little by little. Niruto, niruto. Utangire kwiga kumenya ni nubo nahaje niruto, niruto uvuga ngo mana niki gitarakemuka muri ngewe. Swate sindavzara ngo naguke. Shangwe hari amviriyo ne mazita mana niki boko hari ikintu gituma bikiri ni ruto ni ruto ariko hari abandi ni speed kuri speed ni speed ni speed abandi ni ruto ni ruto dushobora gupfuka mana aho hatugasenga imana ikampa we ndiwe kubera iki kuko nta nta ni ruto igihana uburi mu rwego rwa Daudi no rwa Paul tuzabivugana muri iyi minsi uko bari abagabo inyamaswa bazikontrola ndizi bakunda There is these two kinds of people some will require to get where they are going little by little they the others will get there very fast reason being some are already at a spiritual maturity of David and Paul and the others need to go slowly so that they are not overcome by the beasts we will have a time to study about that zababwira no muri inyigisho ubwoko bw'inyamaso in In the teachings to come I'll teach you about the beasts we fight the different kinds from a rat to a lion muzasanga rero imana yarakugiriye neza kwa ukiraho you will realize that the lord has been merciful to you that you are still in the place where you are Mugabo witwa Sulemberg ya numu pilot mu America Sule Sulemberg ba muita Sule A man is a pilot an American pilot is called Sulemberg is called Sule Hachize nkimya kanagira ngo 10 mu mugezi witwa Hudson River we New York In the it's a, maybe about 10 years in the Hudson River of New York Yari matwara abantu He was taking people Abantu menshi many people indege igiriki and the aeroplane had a problem sulemberg aravuga ngo sulemberg said aho kugira ngo abantu bapfe instead of these people dying reka indege nyimanure mu mazi icyo bita amerisage ntabwo ari aterisage amerisage mu mazi let me bring down the aircraft to land in the water biratandukanye it's different indege imanuka ku butaka When a plane is landing on land it will go with its head first But if it's in the water it will start with a tail Ibyo rero kuko abapilote batabimenyere bamenyere uyu mutwe bisaba ubuhanga nubwenge bw'Imana of course That is not normally common to pilots only when you have the wisdom of God and knowledge in piloting This is what 
what happened with Sulabag? He brought down the aircraft with the tail and landed in the Hudson River. Then and he brought it down properly. All the people survived. No one died. All the people were evacuated. What happened? Sulemberg was a regional pilot. He would fly in the region. So he would only fly within America. He wouldn't go beyond abroad. In a short while, all the newspapers of the world, TV, all telephones, they were by him. CNN, all the big newspapers and media houses came to have interviews with him. Telephone calls, thanking him for saving their families. That night they didn't sleep. People coming to thank them. Phone calls coming to them. The wife started to be bugged or annoyed about it. She has no she was not used to all these number of phone calls coming in. There was no one to handle them. Probably just used to one phone call in a month and she was getting annoyed with that. The wife said, let's leave this house. So they go find a restaurant. And now... <laughs> He found that many of the survivors were in the restaurant. They, come to Sulemberg, Sulemberg, Sulemberg. they all come to his table, Sulemberg, Sulemberg. My love, we need to leave this place. Oh, the wife, the wife took him from there, different places. The husband is not used to such. And the, the wife is frustrated. The children can't find their parents. Fame. 
rero imana ndishobora kwemera ko uhitira muri ibyo tutarabaye prepare wapfa wacira tukaguhamba kandi wari winjikana ni hawe imana rero iragenda ni ruto God will not allow you to easily become a celebrity because it becomes one of the difficult times or positions to manage. Every single thing you do has a comment that is attached to it. The Lord will not allow you to get to that high level from nothing. He wants you to get there little by little. As servants of God that receive the problems of people, ubutunzi buhere undavuye avuga ngo dusengere tugire ubutunzi undakaza ngo gushi kuva twabugira sinkibona umugore kuva twabugira sinkibona umugabo nyamuneka senge imana ibwice kongere tubona one person will come and say please pray so our riches can disappear i don't see my wife anymore i don't see my husband but we have just received yet another person with a prayer request to attain wealth so it's a very difficult thing for the servants of god wisdom kills a man was had such great wisdom the next day he got married when he got married brought his wife from church So the husband said my wife that is your bed whatever else is in the bathroom and he went to the library for the next 3 months If you need money to eat it's in that drawer That is a true story the wife will go find him in the office and you going to sleep no i'm still doing research one month gets over the second month and the third month the wife packed her things slowly she went and said bye to him <laughs> there is another volume I have to read. Where are you going? <laughs> you read it when I'm gone. The wife left. Got married elsewhere. And now she's still in her home. The man is still researching the next volume. <laughs> Getting married before you are ready for marriage. The problems we see here in the homes or families or marriages is that you're getting married in the Canaan of marriage and you're not ready for it. Pray for us. Pray for me. I want a bursary. 
free to go and study in New York. When you come back on holiday or vacation, you have earrings in your nose, on your lips, on your tongue. That is what you brought us back. You are not ready to go. You Joseph, need to go little by little. Joseph, I am not ready to go little by little. Anda tato ano abiri aha ayanda abiri aha agashene tihari ya no kui no hari kini imisasi ya numbers uomu ukibaza niwa rumga na wewe wabzai niwa unitwa sengi wari limbaga muri korara wakoraga umuri mo wima na harikuwa kaza kutubu zamu musenge rimbone buruse na tu kado anu loadingi mana tu kai henda henda kukuita mnyere kutui mama tere kamuhi hariku inyama zvaziri hari nazahura na. Ziri ndaza zikiri. Nuko ni kwa wano wenchi kwa getu wabura. Wagi ya hanu. Hatarugu kutu kima. We have prayed for many people. But they have gone to places where the grace of God is not sustaining them there. You go and study or you go to wherever we've prayed for you. You've been a, a member in the church serving in the choir. Or you are a servant of God. But when you come back, you are completely different. You have trans, you've been transformed or changed. To things of the world. The Kamabira Kano Kamwe Nariye Arikumunishimi. Let me tell you something that made me cry once, but I'm now joyful about it. Bishop Shari Rue Araizi Yonku. Bishop Shal knows about this story. Kisangani. When I was in Kisangani, Harumugabo Mwene Wabona na na wari president Mobutu. There was a relative of President Mobutu. Yari yari kiye muri kolonia lema. He had studied in Cologne in, in, in Germany. He loved me very much. I was about 19, 20 years. And he told me, I have a friend who is a millionaire. He asked, me, he asked me that when I come to Africa, I need to find a humble child, a good child, and I connect them to him. He wants to teach them. He wants to teach them and help them study in their education and then give them the inheritance after that. That man searched in his relatives and couldn't find such a child. The next day I had taken some equipment for the church for repair and he found me there because he was an engineer. We spoke and conversed. One month, two months. He passes there every time to greet me. He was in charge of the radio of Kisangani. One day he said, after a time of living and knowing you, there is something I'm about to do for you. There is no one I've been able to do it for. Checks in his diary and shows me the names of that man and the letter he had last written to him. He said, please bring me that young man as soon as possible. So he asked me to go write a letter. And with your ID photo. And we send it to him. We write my letter. I posted it. He went to Germany. When it got there. In the post office. We wait. After a month and a half, you understand how I was in that time. I didn't know in that one month and a half I was already a German I was practicing how I would live there I had already researched on the Goward Institute everything I would do while I was in Germany I 
ndage giri bifaranga byinshi ndagenda complet I am going to study in Germany I'm going to be able to speak German I will be able to own a lot of money I was literally already there Uwo mugabo arambira ngo ubundu rwandiko ndi rukirukwezi This man told me normally a letter shouldn't have taken more than a month. Ukwezi kushize ni mizi 10. After one month and 10 days. Bata set juru seke imisi rindwi ntangwa ntareba namazi. Man, ruzane vuba ukirufite muri poste na ruza. Uko numvaga nari maze kupanga nzagenda mu meza abiri atatu. Iwacu se nzajya kubasezerawo yabazamenya rayo ko tuko ndi mu budage. So with the, after a month of not receiving a response from him, I took seven days of dry fast praying to God. I was literally already there. I had planned not to even say bye to my family and I was what not even caring about my studies where i was planning to go to germany every evening we would go to the post office with charles to check if we have a response letter and there would be it would be empty After one week I was very hungry I had something to eat but then fasted for the next week The third week I found a letter The same letter I had sent That man was well known Muri posta yo mu budage banditse ngo tubabajwe no kukubwira ko agize ibyumweru bingahe So the post office in Germany responded and told me we are sudden to tell you that it's been several weeks when this man died. Bandika ahinyuma. They normally write at the back. Bakubitaho tembre, bakubitaho otoko, eh? They put a stamp on it. Barava ngo tubakubwa ko brand stone agize ibyumweru bitatu apfuye. And they were saying we are sudden to inform you that Brandstone has been dead for the last three weeks narebye imizimo yo kwabakajabika nandi bose ndavuga iyi minyagwe izankurikira kugeza ryari ubutindi nubuke nabantu bavuka ariko wamana we ubahe ubahe ibyawe mbivuye birarangiye imana nayirakari ukwezi i was mad with god for almost a month cursing the spirits of my fathers gusenga numbaze umuntu amwe ngo sengaho gusenga wo wo mwebwe imana yumva i was no longer interested in prayer bavane narakari imana i was so mad with god muzo kuri byamfashe nk'umwaka kugira ngo nongere numve ngaruye wa munezero wo mu mana guko nari mbuzi kini ngo ranavuga basi ndaje ndaje nta kundi none se uramwishe uko yaragiye kungirira neza nibyo namubwiraga buri mwa umwiciki i was asking god why he had killed him when he was just about to bless me only after a year was i able to come back to god veneda brethren iyo ngenda if i had gone mubudak to germany banza banarafuye i think i would have died nayo mafaranga nibyo bidage nayo mashuri nibindi zo donc ibyo bintu byose with all that money that education and that german in me ubwo mba narageze ubwa mbere no mukwagani akanyigisha kunywa vino uko ni umfashe aba yaransohokanya akanyeri guko boite de nuit simera murabyumva ni inyamaswa kazi ibyo imani turinda nibyo I could have arrived there knowing that he was a pagan probably outside drinking wine going to the nightclubs the lord kept me from the fierce beasts he always keeps 
us from a lot of things. These days I normally ask myself what, why the Lord allowed me to go through that. But as usual, we cannot judge God. We cannot accuse him of anything. Whatever he does is always for our good. May the Lord bless you for me. As we walk little by little with the Lord. Please stand for prayer. We continue on Thursday. Father, we thank you that you are good. Thank you that you are a good God. That you are the king. Teach us to reproduce and multiply so we may be numerous in the nation. Teach us to wait for your time because you know what we need and what's pleasant to us. There are things we are going through, many of us, but by your grace, you are fighting on our behalf. You're with us. Do good to us. Lord. Give us a heart of patience and self control. In this time, as we fight and overcome, enable us to overcome evil, to overcome the enemy. Let us go with you home and be at peace in you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Go with the Lord Jesus. God bless you.